Good morning. Welcome to my little French atelier. Um, I'm down here at the moment. I, I've got everything just set up so that I can have a play whilst I'm down here. So I thought I would show you a piece of the work, uh, a piece that I'm working on this morning. I've had a scroll through the boxes, pulled something out, uh, and I thought I'd show you it because um, it, it really shows you what I what I do and what I, I enjoy doing most, I suppose. But this is an old buckle, and I like this piece purely and simply because of the detail on it, which is exquisite. But also, it's things like this that I like working on. This is only half of a buckle. It, it came like this, the other half has long since disappeared. So the chances are that this is something that would have just been sold as scrap and melted down and I always think it's such a shame. As you can see it's a bit dull, discarded, the back's a bit bent, um, but the detail on it is just beautiful. We've got this flower pattern at the bottom, um, these beautiful scrolls, but this long straight bar and actually when you put it up against your, I've, I've stood looking at it and held it and played with it and seen what I think I can do with it because as it is at the moment it's far too big, far too um, a strange shape I suppose to make even a pendant from, particularly here at the bottom where it's so long. So I'm going to have a play with it and look to make probably a pendant and a couple of pairs of earrings but uh, I'll take you with it as I, I go through it. But as you can see, it is silver. So this one is hallmarked up here uh, and it was originally hallmarked in Birmingham. As I say, it's lost its little friend, so it couldn't really be used for much else. So I'll take you with it. On, you can come with me on its journey and I'll show you where we end up with it. And I hope you enjoy following it. Thank you. So after what seemed like rather a frantic bit of cutting, I think, um, but needless to say wasn't and was a lot slower than it seemed, I, I've now got these few pieces from that one buckle. Um, as I say, it was a buckle on its own, it had no partner, so it had no, no future really. But here I've got one piece which I just think is rather pretty now and, and we'll play with that to make that into a pendant. Then I've got these tiny little scrolls here which are really rather sweet and will make lovely little studs. Another pair here, which um, again will be studs. I, I must admit, I rather like quirky studs rather than just simple rings or um, little balls. So, so I'll create a pair of studs with those. And then these with their beautiful, elegant scroll detail will make a great pair of drop earrings. So that poor little buckle that had no future really, um, now has a future as four different pieces. So stay with me and I'll show you what they look like in the end. So now they're all filed and I've now got the four different pieces that I can start to work on and think a little bit more about um, which way up the studs will go, what backing, how I'm going to support the pendant. Um, I think I'm going to put a, a hidden bale on the back of this one because I, I just think it's so elegant at the top that uh, lose that with a, with a hole and, and a ring wouldn't be right so that'll have a hidden bale on but I just love the shape of it now, it's really unusual. 
these little ones will be studs and the, I think those will go this way up so the studs will sit actually at the top and these ones I've just got to work out how they will hang it may be that I need to just reduce the size of the top slightly but the, they will hang beautifully as a pair of earrings and then these ones I'm just still still not sure whether to have them that way or that way but leave it with me and um, I'll have decided by the time I by the time I fix the studs to them but hopefully you can see how a piece of jewellery, how my pieces start to form. I don't really have a plan, it, it comes as I, I go and um, I'd love to be able to be one of the people who draws things meticulously but I just couldn't. So this is how I work, it's very much free flowing as I find things um, and it's, it's my way of being creative I suppose. <laughs> And then when I heated the piece that looks a bit like a flower, I suddenly found this writing hidden on the back. I don't know what it says, it could be name, a name, it doesn't seem it, it just looks like initials have been scratched into the back. But another bit of the history of this piece that is now there to stay, which I just think is so lovely. So there we go, I've now got four different pieces from that one buckle. Um, and hopefully it'll go on to have a nice new life with somebody. This one here is the bit from the um, centre of the buckle which has now got a, a bale hitted, hidden on the back which means that it will sit comfortably on a chain but I just like the style of that one, the pendant style of that. It's unusual with its flat bottom um, but just really pretty and keeps all the details. Uh, I don't know if it's a flower, a sunrise, a, with a little candle, whatever. I, I just love the shape of it. So that was one piece. The two pieces that I cut that I was originally going to do as um, studs, as I say, I, I'm terrible. I never really decide what things are going to be until I'm working with it. But when I started playing with it and put them together, I found they made this beautiful little heart shape with the two the stu two sort of sticks either side. So those are going to be drilled and it's now a little heart shape and that will sit on a chain, um, making a nice little necklace. I just thought it was more unusual and um, I know people do like little heart-shaped necklaces, so hopefully that one's a little bit of wearable history too. Then the earrings. These ones were going to be drops, but actually when I looked at where the where the hole would have to go through, it would have gone straight through the old hallmark. And on one of them you have the original hallmark, and on the other side you have the maker's mark. And I didn't want to lose that because that's a real part of the history of these pieces. They're under 7.78 grams so they won't need to be hallmarked or repurposed um, but I just felt it was right to keep that little bit of detail. So these are now studs and they sit in the ear like that. Sort of a bit different but rather pretty. And then little studs. I, I just thought these were so pretty and they've worked out beautifully as little studs that will drop down slightly from the earlobe. So there's the four pieces originally from one piece. This one, as you noticed earlier when I when I did the video, when I, when I heated it, it came up with markings on the back and somebody had obviously scratched what's either a name or a few initials onto the back, which I think is just lovely and would have been lost forever and to be honest, I wouldn't have noticed it if I hadn't done this. So there we go. They've got to go in the polisher now and then once they're polished, I'll hopefully get them all sorted and on chains and I'll show you the finished pieces. So it's a beautiful evening now and everything's out of the polisher. So I thought I'd just show you to finish off their story. So here's the first piece. It's shining beautifully. You wouldn't believe that that was part of that damaged, dusty old buckle first thing this morning. 
the bright cut bit along the bottom and the very pretty little bits of engraving going up and even now even now you just can't quite make out that writing on the back it was only really visible when i'd done that um, heating to it so that's one pendant that'll be sitting on an 18 inch little silver chain I'll leave you with the view for a moment whilst we bring up these earrings. These are the studs um, that have come off the off the side of the the buckle, I suppose. And I've kept them like this because it's kept the it's kept the hallmarks there and the maker's mark. And I just felt that was really important. So these now sit. That's how they'll hang from the ear, and they're just a unique and lovely little piece. Then the other little studs, which are very tiny but actually very pretty with a lot of detail in them and again they just sit and hang down just below the earlobe which is a nice place and, and slightly different to the normal studs you would find and then this one which I still have to drill and finish but I will probably add some of the little tiny mother of pearl the antique mother of pearl that I found down here before um, coming off these sides here with the heart shape but it's all soldered and it's all polished up beautifully now. So there we go, that's been the story of a buckle and I hope you enjoyed following its story to this end and I'll post once they are up on the site on Etsy. Thanks again, bye bye.